Giant among men, but he forgot his weapon. Last of the Giants, 575. So who would win, the mountain or 1-1? One -one? Are you Stark? Now we will begin the dance. Remember, child, this is not the dance of the Westeros we are learning. The night's dance. Hawking and hammering. Arya's got two people left on her list, the mountain and Cersei. To get to Cersei, Arya's got to get past the mountain. In the last video in this series, we went over the evidence that Arya Stark of Winterfell will slide through the mountain's legs in their season 8 fight. In doing so, she'll slice his Achilles tendon and get him off his feet. Then what happens? Cat's paw, dagger to the face. Ah. <laughs> Just so. Just so. The mountain is magical, in a bad way. You may need to use fire, dragonglass, or valyrian steel to take him down. Arya once thought that there are lots of people whom she would like to set on fire. That's a nice little thought from a little girl. No fire! But Arya's not going to set the mountain on fire. She may set him on fire after she kills him. But first, Arya's going to kill the mountain by shoving the cat's paw dagger through his face, through his visor, through his eye. There are clues in the canon, and some show-only clues as well. Let's go over them, starting with daggers, knives, and dirks. When Sander taught Arya the gift of mercy, she acquired a dagger, at least in the books. That dagger had a pink jewel in its hilt. She carried that dagger to Bravos, then she threw it in the water. She got rid of it. But Arya got a similar dagger later in the story. The one we just mentioned, the Valyrian steel cat's paw dagger, which also has a jewel in its hilt. So Arya's going to do something special with this special dagger. Are you sure? It goes without saying that the cat's paw dagger is magical. It's Valyrian steel. And it even has a dragon bone hilt with a ruby, at least in the show. Remember where we first saw this cat's paw dagger? You're not supposed to be here. This guy, the cat's paw. No one's supposed to be here. Even though Arya never became no one. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell. That line, no one's supposed to be here. It feels like a nod to Arya or no one. That line might be an early connection between Arya and the dagger, which Bran eventually gives to her in the show. Some people believe that Arya is going to use the dagger on Bran since he said this. Because it was meant to kill me. It's wasted on a cripple. But if you think about it, the mountain is also a cripple. He's a pawn, a slave. The mountain does not think for himself. That's probably why Bran saw a vision of the mountain with no head in the books, because the mountain no longer has free will. Now let's get back to the cat's paw. He also said this. It's a mercy. He's dead already. That line comes directly from the canon, so that line may be important. It may be foreshadowing. Now, figuratively, Bran died in the cave. You died in that cave. But if you think about it, the mountain also fits that bill. He's dead already. So all of this so far, it's specifically related to the cat's paw dagger. Let's take a step back for a minute and look more broadly at clues related to other knives, daggers, and dirks, and then we'll get back to the cat's paw dagger. Let's take a look at one of Arya's mentors, the Night's Watch recruiter, Yorn. You're a long way from home. I asked you a question. Ah, you did. You asked without manners, and I chose not to answer. This is your last chance. In the name of King Joffrey, drop your weapons. I don't think I will. In the show version of the story, Yorn used speed and a dagger or a dirk against the gold cloak. In the books, Arya used the dagger to slit a northern guard's throat in order to escape Harrenhal. She did it by dropping a coin, just like she did to the fray in this scene. Sorry. Oh shit. Alright, now let's move on to visors and isolates for a minute. Sirio taught Arya to be observant. The sea. The true sea, that is the heart of swordplay. When Sir Merrin first approached them, Arya noticed that he had a visor, but his visor was up. Arya also noticed that the Lannister guards did not have visors. Sirio noticed this as well. So when Sirio fought them, he injured or even killed one of the Lannister guards by shoving his wooden training sword into the guard's eye, because he had no visor. But Sir Merrin Trent did have a visor and Meryn lowered that visor before fighting Sirio. If we skip forward, Arya made note of the knight's visor when him and his buddies were attacking her and the Hound at the Red Wedding, at least in the books. And as we mentioned earlier, Bran had a vision of the mountain, with only darkness inside his helm. But note that Bran only saw that after the mountain raised his visor. And here's a good one. 
One of the six times that Beric Dondarrion died was because the mountain shoved a dirk into Beric's eye, through Beric's visor. Was it a hanging or a dagger in the eye? Both. Fuckers couldn't decide. All right, now let's check out some show-only clues. The scene where Sir Gregor killed Sir Hugh the Vale, that scene is followed immediately with the scene that begins with a shot of the cat's paw dagger. Maybe connecting the two of them. Take that for what it's worth. Arya's got her hands on this knife here. Lady, eat your food. I'm practicing. Practicing for what? The prince. And Arya also has one at Harrenhal. We look like fools and they look like heroes. That's how kings fall. I want them dead. Every one. Killing them isn't the problem. But look at the way they present this scene to us. The mountain to the dagger. Might be a clue. I always thought you had a talent for violence. All right. Later, Arya thinks about stabbing Tywin in the back with a knife. My legacy will be determined in the coming months. You know what legacy means. And as we said earlier, Arya used a knife to kill a fray in the show. Last but not least, Arya killed Sir Merentrant with a knife to the face, or knife to the eye. Let's analyze this. Sirio taught Arya to be observant. Four times, Arya made note of enemies' visors or lack thereof. One of her mentors, Yorn, used speed in a dirk to surprise a gold cloak. And another mentor, Sirio, shoved the sword into one of his enemy's eyes. The mountain's visor is noted in Bran's dream, and the mountain killed Beric by shoving a dirk through Beric's visor, through Beric's eyes. And there are some pretty heavy-handed clues in the books and the show alike to Arya using a dagger on the mountain. She played with it here and here. She thought about using a knife on Tywin. She used a knife on this guy and also on this guy. Do you know who you are? <laughs> You're no one. And I saved the best for last. Someday, I'm going to put a sword through your eye and out the back of your skull. That line is huge. He was not on her list anymore. She'd taken him off it. Arya loves Sandor now, so the payoff to that line would be Arya shoving the cat's paw dagger into his brother's eye, the mountain's eye. And here's the icing on the cake. The very first thing that Sirio did was throw Arya a sword. Tomorrow you will catch it. Just so happens, Arya has a new move that includes throwing and catching a weapon. And make note of where she's aiming that dagger, Brienne's face. In the books, Thoros Amir told Arya, I've heard his lordship say, this war began when the hand sent him out to bring the king's justice to Gregor Clegane. And that's how he means for it to end. So wouldn't it be poetic for Arya, Ned Stark's own blood, to get the final kill of the story, ending the Game of Thrones once and for all? But wait, the last kill? Arya's got one more name on her list, other than the mountain. Cersei's on her list of names. So there's a clue in the books that Cersei's fate is connected to Arya. You'll find that in the Valonqar Explained video. There's also a clue that their fates are connected in the show. The only one that needs protecting is the one that gets in your way. That line indirectly refers to Cersei. The mountain is standing in the way of Arya and Cersei. So if Cersei comes after the mountain, how can the mountain be the final kill of the story? The end to Cersei's story may be very different than anyone expects. If you want to hear my idea, hit subscribe. That video and the Valonqar coming soon. The water dance. It is swift and sudden.